All right, as we take a look at the next part of this, we're gonna take a look at number eight. Number eight has um, just a little bit of an interesting setup, so that's why I kinda of wanna walk through it with you. You got two 40 foot long wires made of differing materials are supported from a ceiling of a testing laboratory. Wire one is made of material H and has a diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. Wire two is made of material K and has a diameter of 3 sixteenths of an inch. When a load of 225 pounds is applied to the lower end, wire one stretches 10 hundredths of an inch. When the same 225 pound load is applied to the lower end of the other wire, wire two, it stretches a quarter of an inch. So, compare materials H and K. Which material has the greatest modu modu modulus of elasticity? So, which one is the stiffer material? So, as I take a look at my um, worksheet, you're going to end up seeing that uh, we're going to go ahead and list off our knowns here. Uh, I've got number nine there. So, number eight. So, our, I'm going to put D, W1 is 3 eighths of an inch. Di so diameter of wire 1, diameter of wire 2 is 3 sixteenths. Our stretch, so delta wire 1, is 10 hundredths of an inch. Our stretch of wire 2, quarter of an inch. And then some of our other knowns, we've got a force of 225 pounds being applied. Our length is 40 feet. Let's go ahead and convert that over into inches. So multiply by 12, I'm gonna get 480 inches. Okay, unknowns, as far as what we're dealing with. Um, as I look at my formula, I need to know what modulus of elasticity, they're wanting to know what's the modulus of elasticity. So the knowns that I'm looking for, here's modulus of elasticity. I've got my force, I've got the original length, I don't know the area, but I've got diameters to work with, and I know the amount of stretch. So I can use this formula right here without a very, with a little bit of minimal fuss as long as I can find the area. So let's go ahead and move to the sheet. So unknowns, let's go ahead and say we don't know what the area is and we don't know what the modulus of elasticity. So equations, area is pi times diameter squared over four, and then the modulus of elasticity, let's go ahead and use uh, force times the original length divided by area times the amount of stretch. So as far as drawing this, here's where we have uh, two wires. So wire one or wire two is gonna be wire K, wire one is H, and uh, they're both 40 feet long. This one's got a 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch diameter. This one's got 3 16 And they're both being stretched by 225 pounds of force. So I need to correct that one. And that's kind of our, our as far as a drawing. Not much needed for that. So um, as far as substituting and solving, I'm going to do wire one. And then my expectation for you is you're gonna try out wire two and then give the final verdict of which one is the stiffer material. So process here, find my area first, pi times diameter squared over four, area. So the diameter of wire one is 3 eighths of an inch. So when I put this in the calculator, so 3 eighths squared, times pi, and then divided by four. I'm gonna get a value, I'm gonna go out to a few significant figures here, 0 0.11045 square inches. And then now, I'm gonna put E1, modulus of elasticity for the first wire. So force, original length over area times the stretch. Substituting this in, I'm gonna have 225 pounds times 480 inches divided by the area that I just solved for and then times the amount of stretch which was 10 hundredths of an inch. When I solve for this, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a little bit of room here for wire 2. That'll be where you can put this in. But I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. 
So 225 times 480 divided by 0 0.11045 times 10 hundredths of an inch of stretch. I'm going to end up getting um, a little over, uh, a little bit more than over 9 million, but pretty close to uh, about 9,800,000. So as far as you know, the level of precision we're looking for, um, your lowest amount of precision based upon your stretch is two significant figures, which is what I'm going to go ahead and round to. So in this case, on this, I'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be 9,800,000 PSI. So here I kind of run off the page. But, so significant, significant figures, lowest amount that you have, two. So what I'm going to expect you to do is go ahead and do, this is actually area one. And then I want you to go ahead and do, all kind of same kind of process, area two. And then you're going to find modulus of elasticity for two. And that will go through, and then I want you to figure out which one has the greater modulus of elasticity or which one is the stiffer material.